Ooh. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. Hey guys, welcome back to Nitro Union. And uh, in addition to going down to Louisiana and checking out our buddy Sonny's uh, Hemi Duster, we're also gonna be checking out a old trailer that he's had sitting up. It's older trailer, it's been sitting up for a while, but uh, sounds like it may be something that's in our price range. And uh, you know, we're working with a budget, and uh, but we're always looking for something, a little bit bigger trailer to help kind of haul all our stuff in. So uh, we're gonna check that one out too, so stay tuned. Yeah, so that's, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at this, uh... At this trailer here, this is a 28 foot enclosed. Damn tall one too, man. How tall along there? I'm telling you, I just bought one just like that. Them damn ramps will fold out way back yonder. You hear me? Hmm. Oh, God. This it gonna bite a finger. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna go well. Reckon Misfit would fit between here and that partition wall. About 18 feet. I wish we, I wish I knew how long Misfit was. It'd be convenient if it would. Which I guess we could do like a um, do like some of the flappy things or something and kind of seal it all. That's what we're talking about. Is put the golf cart up there, but then maybe be able to get it out and then have that as kind of a living yeah. quarters type right. deal. Yeah, it don't look too bad. Not much, not much worse than the one we got. I think the roof needs some, needs a little work up there. They got some cabinets in here. It does have a winch. It does have this electric jack. What we were talking about is widening this out potentially and being able to pull the golf cart, like have some ramps and be able to pull the golf cart in this way. And if there's enough room to fit Miss in the back section, and then uh, have like some cots or a little spot that we can kind of sleep and kind of camp up here. So. Oh. Looks like we're probably gonna make a deal on the trailer too. So um, so we'll get that thing, get it back to the shop and then we can really kind of check it out up there, so. All right guys, so up in the trailer, in the front, there's uh, some cabinets and storage and uh, there's a uh, little Alpine stereo system. And then up here is where it had a leak. So there's some damage, uh, it's been partially repaired. So we just need to get up there and uh, replace and seal all that stuff up um it's been dripping a little bit on the floor but I, I don't think it's real bad it's not super soft or anything so i think that should be okay um just like i said it just needs a little tlc and it had some doors that divided this here off and we went ahead and took those out i don't know if we'll continue to use those or not because the main thing we got to figure out if misfit uh, will fit in this back area solely and then maybe we can divide it off and then this front section will be sort of a living quarters slash we may make that door wider to be able to pull the golf cart up in here with some ramps straight in that's the biggest problem with our other trailer the 24 foot is that it's uh we have to put the golf cart in sideways but it won't fit through the side door so we have to pull it up in there and then physically scoot it around uh, which gets to be a pain in the butt and then also you can't get it out until you get the car out sometimes we get to a race you know on a friday or something we're not going to unload the car yet and uh, you just want the golf cart to kind of cruise around on so but uh anyway back here all this is diamond floor plate um and it's got the extra long ramps uh along with golf cart ramps and stuff so all this seems to be okay skylights and stuff it's all wired um just that section in the front needs some work for sure and a few other things but i think it'll do okay like i said the price was right and uh worst case scenario it makes for good storage once we get the the little leak fixed so um right now what we've been working on is uh stepping out of the trailer this uh building here was one of my mom's storage buildings and uh she kind of at the last minute had to get it cleaned out and moved but the uh misfit trailer back there is full of a lot of stuff that had been in in this storage building for years and uh 
so anyway so we got all that stuff done and i got to get the misfit trailer emptied back into this once we get it positioned a little better but uh, this will be good also because we got misfit in the shop but if we need the space we can put it in here if we need to so so yeah so that's what we're working on got a kiddie pool from the house i'm gonna put in here and try to keep the this leak contained to it and not on the floor any longer until we can uh until we can get up there and fix that stuff but um but yeah so this is the new the new to us hauler project and it's definitely a project um but i think it's salvageable i think we'll be able to get some use out of it for sure um the idea was to also once i get aces high going um instead of having one giant trailer if we do decide to take both cars to an event uh we don't we don't have a, a truck like a, a dedicated truck right now so a lot of times we'll have two half ton trucks and we can pull this trailer with a half ton truck or the 24 foot with a half ton truck whereas if we had a big trailer to haul two cars we'd have to have a one ton truck which is really expensive right now if you've been looking at any of those prices so but uh yeah this thing's already got a winch in it um and it does work it's got the electric jack on it which is nice we've never had one of those um and a few other things uh the other trailer has our generator mounted on the front and the ac in the top so we, we may transfer all that over to this one if we decide to make this one the primary but uh anyway either way i think we we're okay on it um it's just a project but uh we'll definitely get some use out of it i'm working on a lot more videos for you guys as well also got the service station made a lot of progress so you guys will be seeing a full video on that one pretty soon as well because i'm pretty stoked on how it turned out so we're up here on a sunday trying to get caught up on we're in john how many have we done the last are you done the last couple weeks a lot and uh, i've lost track as many as i can get parts for yeah I yeah mean, it's been a pain no such thing to getting caught up <laughs> yeah it's been a pain and it's weird like this this whole year or last year was real slow until like the last month and then it's just been non-stop that's so. one of these things i always do i go two three months and not do the first rear end job and then boom it'd be 10 at one time you yeah. know in a week's time but that's what keeps us going misfit loves it yeah uh, yeah so that's uh, that's what we've been doing got that truck there got a truck up there i'm doing a doing coolant leak stuff on this one and there's misfit and i told you why misfit trailers uh not usable right now it's full of my mom's junk and all my childhood junk so um we got to get it cleaned out and all that stuff but that's dreaming the dream but living it is a little bit harder to do yeah that's, the, that's that real life stuff there so but yeah so we just been just been doing all this stuff trying to get caught up on bills and all that good stuff and then of course ace of sides it's right there and uh it'll be coming out as soon as we can as soon as we can get it in here we just got all the lifts tied up right now we got to finish getting that quarter panel on it and then we can move on from that and on to something else so what do you think about the trailer project out there it's a project but i think it's gonna be a pretty good project we're gonna yeah i don't know about my fat self getting up on the roof of it i'm gonna have to try to locate some scaffolding maybe we can find a some cheap scaffolding on a marketplace because I I got my limit to how high I'm going to go up on a ladder, which I, I've done it, but uh, I'm old and crusty. And I ain't never been real flexible, but I can't stand to pay somebody to do something that I know I can do myself, most likely do it better, but yeah. anyway. It, it's just another one in projects. We'll, we'll get to it, you know? Yeah, that's the, that's the way we do it. Like I said, it was it was within the budget and uh like i said worst case scenario it'll make good storage for something you know so but i think it'll be usable it's pretty nice pretty nice trailer so um it's the length that we were wanting um so that i think it's just a matter of making it to where it's usable for us so yeah we thought hard about a, a trailer big enough to haul both cars in once we get them going but in the big scheme of things uh time i get a trailer that big and then get a truck big enough to haul a trailer that big and I'd be beyond being broke and that takes the fun out of it so yeah I decided we just get two trailers this one like you say a little bit longer that's really what we needed anyway so uh, you know a good decent half ton of pull them three quarter ton of pull them easily you know and the uh, odds of me having both of these cars running at the same time is slim to none so yeah exactly we'll wind up having one trailer at a time but 
anyway, that's just a, another part of the dream, you know. So we'll we'll get around to it one of these days. Yep. Hold on. That's it. We got some tire. Found some tires for Misfit. They finally got them in stock, so we Whoop. got them on they the way. Them, what Tuesday? Yeah, it's supposed to be here in a few days. So, um, so that's one thing knocked out, and we got some other stuff we're gonna do to it too. So, I'm kind of deciding on that how far to go with it. All right. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna. Just gonna update everybody on where we're at on all this stuff and uh, tell you guys a little story about the trailer. All right guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, it's just kind of a little update and uh, telling the story on our little trailer acquisition there. And uh, it's definitely gonna be a project, but um, I think we'll get it. We, we can make it work for us in some kind of way. Uh, like I said, it, it fit the budget, it was cheap enough so, um, so we can afford to put a little bit into it um you know or leave it how it is and just use it like that so um but uh anyway guys thank you for tuning in and uh like i said if you if you want to be sure to check out the merchandise nitrounion.com and uh that's the best way to support us for now and uh working on a lot of new stuff we plan on doing a lot more videos this year and a lot of cool stuff coming up as soon as we can get a little less swamped here in the shop and uh, we'll be back working on projects as well so but uh thanks for tuning in we'll see you on the next one <laughs>